Hello everybody! Today we will learn Watch TV Watch TV This is TV These people are watching the TV These people are watching the TV So let me show you the TV This is a remote control or a controller so we have a remote control which is also called a controller or just remote so remote control controller or just remote you use this to change the channels. Use the controller use the controller so use the controller to change channels. You're changing channels. Change, 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 change. And a different channel comes on. A channel is like a TV show. Okay? I'll show you I'll show you now an example. So here's a TV. Here's a television. So if you you use the remote to turn the TV on. You turn the TV on. Now I turn the TV off. So let's turn the TV on and turn the TV off. Line this up here. Alright. So we have a remote control, which is a controller, okay? And we use we use the controller to change channels. Okay? So let me write that again. We use the controller to turn the TV on. Turn the TV on. We use, like we, remember we is we, use, use the controller to turn the TV on we use the controller to turn the TV on turn the TV on then then we use it so first we use the controller to turn the TV on then we use it it to change the channel Okay, we use the controller to change the channel. So, we use the controller to turn the TV on. Then we use it to change the channel. We can also use the controller to watch a movie. Right, to watch a movie. Okay, so... We use the controller to turn the TV on, and then we use it to watch. Remember, watch. Watch is. This is watch. Watch. To watch a movie. Or DVD. Movie or DVD. Okay. So review. What is this? 
This is a controller. What do you do with the controller? What do you do with the controller? Well, I use the controller to turn the TV on. I use the controller to turn the TV on. Well, then what do you do? Then what do you do? Well, then I use the controller to change the channel. Change the channel. I can also use the controller to watch a DVD or watch a movie. Hello! Last time, last time, we did this. We used the controller to turn the TV on, then we use it to watch a movie. So we use the controller to turn the TV on, then we use it to watch a movie or DVD. Today, we will talk more about watching TV. Let me erase this for you. Alright, so watching TV, remember, you're watching TV, watching TV, but who is watching TV? Who is watching TV? Well, your friend, two friends, two friends are watching TV, two friends are watching TV. Let me write that for you. Two friends are watching Two friends are watching TV. Or you can say The man is watching TV with his friend. The man is watching TV with his friend. The man is watching TV with his friend. Okay, but where? Like where? Where are they watching TV? At their house. The man is watching TV with his friend at their house, or at his house. at his house. So two friends are watching TV. The man is watching TV with his friend at his house. So what is with? If you don't know with, I can say I have a pen with a pencil. I have a pen with a pencil. I have a monkey with a baby. I have a monkey with a baby. So with, if you have a friend, one friend is with another friend. One friend is with another friend. Okay? What about this? Boyfriend and girlfriend. The boyfriend is watching TV with his girlfriend. Or just the man is watching TV with his girlfriend. The man is watching TV with his girlfriend. Okay. The man is watching TV with the man is watching TV with his girlfriend. The man 
is watching TV with his girlfriend. What about the opposite? What's the opposite? Well, the woman the woman the woman is watching TV with her boyfriend. The woman is watching TV with her boyfriend. Okay. Now, whose remote? Whose remote controller is this? Whose controller is this? Well, the man owns the controller. The man owns the controller. Owns is after you've bought something. So if I, if, uh, let's say the baby, let's say the baby has the controller and I have some money, I have some money, I give the money to the baby, now the baby has the money, baby has the money, he gives me the controller, okay. Now I own the controller. I own the controller. So, who owns the controller? Which person, which person owns the controller? Well, the boyfriend owns the controller. So you say the man, the boyfriend is a man, so you say the man owns the controller. Or, if the woman if the woman owns the controller, then you say the woman owns the controller. The woman owns the controller. Okay. Today we are still talking about watching TV we are still watching about what I mean we are still talking about watching TV and who's watching TV the man is watching TV with his girlfriend the man is watching TV with his girlfriend okay who owns the remote control who owns the remote control well, the man the man owns the remote control but the woman wants to watch a movie. The woman wants to watch a movie. So, what do they do? They fight. They fight. F I G H T is to fight. They fight over the remote control. They fight over the remote control. Let me write that for you. So the man owns the controller, but the woman But the woman, woman, wants to watch a movie. But the woman wants to watch a movie. They fight they fight over the controller they fight for the, or for the controller or over the controller
They fight for the controller. All right, so read that. The man owns the controller, but the woman wants to watch a movie. They fight over, whoops, they fight, they fight for the controller, okay? So the man owns the controller, but the woman wants to watch a movie, they fight for the controller, okay? Now, what else could they fight for? What else could they fight about? Well, they could fight about anything. They could fight about anything. They could fight about, they could fight about, I know, present. Present. If the man gives the woman a present, the man gives the woman a present, and she doesn't like it, they can fight. Let me write that for you. If the man gives the woman a present but she doesn't like it Like, like is like, hmm, I like it, I like it, like, I like, I like this water. I like this water. So, if the man gives the woman a present but she doesn't like it, they will fight. They, they, two people is they. They will fight. Yeah. Will. Will is future. Future. So if the man gives a woman a present but she doesn't like it, they will fight. What else can they fight about? Well, if the man mm, I'll find something for you. I'll find something. Oh, uh, here we go. If the man cooks the food if the man cooks the food and it tastes bad, it tastes bad, they will fight. If the man Okay. If the man cooks cook cooks the food F O O D if the man cooks the food, but it tastes bad, it tastes bad, Ugh. it tastes bad, they will fight. So if the man cooks the food, but it tastes bad, they will fight. Hello, today we will do some conjugation of verbs. Conjugation of verbs. We will do to be. I am. So let's say I am tall. I am tall. So I am tall. You, you are tall.
he he is tall she she is tall she is tall we we are tall Two people, two people is they, they are tall. And it, it is tall. It, it is tall. Or it, it is tall. So I am tall, you are tall, he is tall, she is tall, we are tall, they are tall, and it is tall. Okay, let's do... Uh, let's do the past tense. So I am is present tense. This is present tense. Present tense is now. Let's do let's do past tense, okay? The past tense I was I was tall. I was tall, but now I'm short. So I was tall and now I'm short. Okay, so I was. I was tall. You were you were tall. He was. He was tall. She was tall. She was tall. We were tall. They were tall. It was tall. So that's the past. That's the past. Again, I was tall, you were tall, he was tall, she was tall, we were tall, they were tall, and it was tall. The past. That's past. Let's do future. Future. Alright, future is, I will be tall. So like, now I'm short and I will be tall. I will be tall. You will be tall. She, or he, or whatever, she will be tall. Pretty easy, right? He will be tall. We will be tall. They will be tall. And it will be tall. Okay, so it's all will be. I will be tall. I will drink the water. I will drink the water. <coughs> okay. <coughs> the monkey will laugh. The monkey will laugh. I will, I will watch a movie. I will watch a movie. I will jump. I will jump. So that's, that's the future.
Hello! Today we will talk about the fire station. The fire station. And how the firefighter climbs up the ladder. The firefighter climbs up the ladder. Okay, so first of all, here's a fire station. This is the fire station. This is a fire truck. Fire truck. This is a fireman. A fireman. And this is a house. A house on fire. So this is the fire station. This is a fire truck. This is a fire truck. This is a fireman. This is a fireman. This is a, f a fireman. This is a, a fire. And this is a house. This is a house that's on fire. Okay? So, first, we have a house that's on fire. There's a house. A window, a door. That's a house. Now it's on fire. the house is on fire the house is on fire so so the woman the woman called the woman phones or calls the woman phones the fire station the woman phones the fire station The house is on fire, so the woman phones the fire station. The fire truck comes to her house. The fire truck comes to your house. They climb the ladder. This is ladder. Ladder. Climb the ladder. Now why why do they climb the ladder? I'll tell you why. Alright, I have to find the uh thing here. Uh there it is. To rescue her cat. To rescue her cat. They climb the ladder. Uh to rescue. Rescue. Rescue means, oh, look, I rescued it, I rescued it, ah, oh, that's rescue, rescue, okay. To rescue her cat, so her, because it's a woman, cat. Rescues her cat. All right. What is on fire? What is on fire? The house is on fire. Who is in the house? Well, the woman is in the house and she's on the phone. The woman is on the house, she's on the phone. What animal what animal is what animal is in the house? The cat is in the house. The cat is in the house. 
Who, who rescues the cat? Who rescues the cat? Well, the firemen. The fire... Oh, look. The firemen. Where's the firemen? I got it here somewhere. There it is. The firemen... The firemen... Rescue... The cat. Okay, so the house is on fire, so... The woman phones the fire station. The fire truck comes to her house, her house. They climb the ladder to rescue her cat. Actually, you know what? I should change this. I should say it says they. I should say the, the, the firemen. The firemen. The firemen climb the ladder. Climb the ladder to rescue her cat. And the ladder is like this thing. That's a ladder. This thing here is a ladder. That's a ladder. Okay. So fire men, because there's two men. Let me show you. So if you have one, one fireman is one fireman. One fireman. F I R E M A N. But if you have two, it's fire. Men. F I R E M E N. Firemen. If you have five firemen, anything after that is, is firemen. A hundred. One hundred firemen. And woman. Let's say you have firewoman. One. Fire woman, two fire women. So one fire woman and two fire women. Five fire women, one thousand fire women. Okay, so that's firemen. So what is on fire? What is on fire? The house is on fire. Who is in the house? The woman's on the house. What is she doing? She's phoning the firemen. Or she's phoning the fire station. And what animal is in the house? The cat is in the house. Who comes to the house? The firemen come to the house. What do the firemen do? They rescue the cat. Good. Hello. Today we will learn make and build. Two verbs. The first verb is make. So let's go over that. The verb is to make. For example, I am I am making a paper airplane. I am making a paper airplane. To make a paper airplane, I fold the paper, fold it again, Fold it again, fold it again, and then fold these ones back. Okay. There. I made a paper airplane. I made a paper airplane. I am making is present tense.
I made is past tense. So what is future tense? What is future tense? Let's say I have paper. Get some paper. And I say, I, I will. I will make a paper airplane. That's future tense. I will make. I will make a paper airplane. That's future tense. Future tense. Okay. Now, what about if you are making or we are making? Let me show you. Let me show you those. So it was I am making. You are making. He is making. She is making. Uh, we. We are making. We are making. They. They are making. Or it is making. So that's pretty easy. It's all the same, really. Making, 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 making. Okay. How about the past? I was making. You were making. He was making. She was making. We were making. They were making. It was making. That's the past tense. The past tense. So what's future tense? What's future tense? Well, future tense. making. I will make. You will make. He will make. She will make. We will make. make, you will make, he will make, she will make, we will make, they will make, and they will make. So that's future tense. Now, that's make. Right. What about build? What's build? I'll show you build. Build is with tools. You use these to build, right? Building, like you build a house. Building Building. No, that's building. That's to build. The verb is to build. And when you're building, it's making um it's making something stronger and bigger. Making is like you can make paper airplane, make food, make uh, make a, a present, make make a garden, but buildings like build a house, build a chair, you know, you build a chair, right? Take this and you 
Hammer the said, build the chair. You build a calculator. You build the calculator. You know, you're screwing things in, these little things. You build the calculator. So to build, right, I am building the chair. I am I am building the chair. Or I am building the house. I am building the furniture. I am building a table. What do you want? What do you want? Interesting question. The answer could be anything. I want I want a CD. I want a CD. I want a book. How about that? I want a book. Patrick and the Hungry Puppy. Hello. What a good book. Let's take a, a time to read. It's time... No, let's not. Let's not read. Check it out. I want Star Trek Voyager Season 1. That's what I want. I want... I want a dumbbell. I want a dumbbell. So you can say anything. I want whatever. What do you want? I want chalk. I want some chalk or a piece of chalk. Ooh, nice writing, eh? Very good. But what what about what do you want to do? Well, let's change that. What what do you want to do? I want to listen. Oh, you know, I thought I had enough space. Apparently, I don't. I want to listen to a CD. So, where's that CD? I want to listen to the CD. Open the CD case, take it out, listen to the CD. Yeah, congratulations. What about this? I want to watch DVDs. DVDs? I want to watch the DVDs. Let me write that down for you. Awesome. Yeah. I want to watch DVDs. I want to watch a movie. I want to watch TV. All things that you can watch. I want to watch a movie. I want to watch TV. I want to watch DVDs. Yes. But what about uh, not, uh, not watching or listening? Change that. Change that. What about exercise? Yeah. Exercise. I want to exercise. I want to exercise. I want to exercise. Or if you are speaking fast, I want to exercise. I want to exercise. That's fast, slow. I want to exercise. I want to exercise. What about? I want to travel. I want to travel to. Where should we go? Let's go to Vietnam. I want to travel on an airplane. Look at this airplane. Ooh, nice airplane. 
I want to travel to Vietnam. Nice, nice flag, eh? Come on, man, good job. I want to travel to Vietnam. I want to travel to Canada. I want to travel to America. Again, fast. I want to travel to Vietnam. So nice. What about the opposite? What do you not want to do? What do you not want to do? What do you not want to do? Well, music? No. I don't want music. Throw that in the garbage. Well, okay. I don't want to listen to music. 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 I don't want to exercise. I don't want to exercise. I don't want to watch DVDs. I don't want to watch DVDs. I don't want to read. I don't want to read. I don't want to read. Similarly. What do you not want? I don't want a book. I don't want a book. I don't want a book. This book do not do not give it to me. Do not give me this book because I don't want it. Throw that in the garbage, man. I don't want a book. How about this? But But I want DVDs. Ooh, it's so good. This book, I don't want it. But I want the DVDs. Good. How about this? These DVDs actually, mm -mm, I do not want these DVDs. I want the weight. I want this weight instead. Actually, change my mind. Change my, this weight, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want the weight. I want some water. Mm. Fresh, clean, delicious water to soothe your body. I want a book, but I don't want water to soothe your body. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want a book, yes. Do I want water? Do I want water? No, 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 no water, no water. So I want a book, but I don't want water. Uh, wh what do you want, man? What do you want? I want... I want pizza. But not soda. I want pizza. Check. Soda? No. No soda. I want pizza, but I don't want soda. Goodbye! Why do you want the la? I want the la because of the la, la, la. Why do you want banana? Why do you want a banana? I want a banana. Because I'm hungry. Oh, hungry. Very hungry. I want a banana. Banana. Fresh, smooth, yellow banana. To stop your hunger. Why do you want a banana? I want a banana because I'm hungry. Similarly, why do you want... Why do you want an egg? I want an egg because I'm hungry. Why do you want an egg? Remember if there's a vowel, un. Consonant, uh. A 
banana on egg. I want an egg because I'm hungry. Same thing. Oh, look, I dropped the check chalk on the ground. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So, here's a different one. Why do you want water? Let me change this. Why do you want water? Or you can say, why do you want some water? So, why do you want water? Or, why do you want some water? I want water. Or some water. Because I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. So thirsty. Water, beautiful water to quench your thirst. Yes. Mmm. Very good water. Thank you. So, how about this? Lemon and water combination. <laughs> so, why do you want a lemon? I want a lemon because I'm thirsty, maybe. I want a lemon because it is sour. <laughs> sour. Why do you want banana? I want a banana. A banana. I want a banana because it's sweet. Sweet. Boom. Why do you want an egg? Well, uh, let me think about that. <laughs> I want an egg. I'm running out of space here. I want an egg because it's high in protein. <laughs> P R O T E I N. Protein. High in protein. Bam! You know what I'm saying? So. That's wonderful. Let's do uh, eraser time. Why do you want DVDs? I want DVDs because I'm bored. Uh, bored. I'm bored. Yes. Very dramatic. Thank you. So, why do you want DVDs? I want DVDs because I'm bored. Why do you want... Okay. A book. I want a book because I'm bored. I want a book because I'm bored. Or I want a book because I want to read. Or why do you want DVDs? I want DVDs because I want to watch them. I want DVDs because I want to watch DVDs. But instead of saying DVDs and DVDs, you say them. I want, oh, this is a book, sorry. Why do you want, why do you want DVDs? I want DVDs because I want to watch them. Why do you want a banana? I want a banana because I want to eat it. I want to eat it. Or if there's two bananas, I want to eat them. Right? Or if there's two eggs, why do you want eggs? I want to eat them. I want to eat them. So let's change that. Why do you want a banana? I want a banana because I want to eat it. I want to eat it. I want to eat it. Or you can also say, I want it. 
I want it because I want to eat it. So why do you want this? Why do you want this? I want this because I want to eat it. That's uh, shorter, right? I want, why do you want a banana? I want a banana because I want to eat it. Why do you want this? I want this because I want to eat it. Let's change that. Why do you want this? I want it because I want to eat it. Why do you want this? I want it because I want to eat it. No. Why do you want this? I want it because I want to eat it. Or I want the lemon because I want to eat it. You can change many ways. Why do you want... Where's that water? Here's the water. Why do you want this? I want it because I want to drink it. Mmm. So nice. I want it because I want to drink it. Why do you want this? Or why do you want these? Because there's more than... There's, look, there's many DVDs, right? Why do you want these? I want these. T-H-E-S-E. -E. Why do you want these? I want them. Because I want to... Watch... Them. I want them because I want to watch them. Why do you want this? I want this because I want to watch it. No, no, read it. I want this because I want to read it. See, I almost made a mistake. This is, let me show you. This is watch the book. I watch the book. That's watch the book. Read the book. I read the book. Ah, it's time for lunch, Patrick said, as he took the puppy out of the bed. You'd like a special treat, I guess, and the puppy nodded yes, yes, yes. Look at the puppy! So that's reading. I'm reading. Watching. Yeah. See, a DVD, you put this in on TV, ah, watching the DVD. You don't read the DVD. I guess you could. Let's read the DVD. Star Trek Voyager. TM and copyright 1995 by Paramount Pictures. All rights reserved. That's reading the DVD. I'm sorry. We don't want to do that. Goodbye. Why do you want the love? I want the love because of the love. Why do you want banana? Why do you want a banana? I want a banana because I'm hungry. Oh, hungry. Very hungry. I want a banana. Banana, fresh, smooth, yellow banana, to stop your hunger. Why do you want a banana? I want a banana because I'm hungry. Similarly, why do you want... Why do you want an egg? I want an egg because I'm hungry. Why do you want an egg? Remember, if there's a vowel, un. Consonant, uh, a banana, an egg. I want an egg because I'm hungry. Same thing. Oh, look, I dropped the check chalk on the ground. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So, here's a different one. Why do you want water? Let me change this. Why do you want water? Or you can say, why do you want some water? So why do you want water? Or why do you want some water? I want water. Or some water. Because I'm thirsty. I'm 
I'm thirsty. So thirsty. Water, beautiful water to quench your thirst. Yes. Mmm. Very good water. Thank you. So, how about this? Lemon and water combination. <laughs> so, why do you want a lemon? I want a lemon because I'm thirsty, maybe. I want a lemon because it is sour. <laughs> sour. Why do you want banana? I want the banana. The banana. I want a banana because it's sweet. Sweet. Boom. Why do you want an egg? Well, uh, let me think about that. I want an egg. I'm running out of space here. I want an egg because it's high in protein. <laughs> P-R-O-T-E-I-N. Protein. High in protein. Bam! You know what I'm saying? So, that's wonderful. Let's do uh, eraser time. Why do you want DVDs? I want DVDs because I'm bored. Uh, bored. I'm bored. Yes. Very dramatic. Thank you. So, why do you want DVDs? I want DVDs because I'm bored. Why do you want... Okay. A book. I want a book because I'm bored. I want a book because I'm bored. Or I want a book because I want to read. Or why do you want DVDs? I want DVDs because I want to watch them. I want DVDs because I want to watch DVDs. But instead of saying DVDs and DVDs, you say them. I want, oh, this is a book, sorry. Why do you want, why do you want DVDs? I want DVDs because I want to watch them. Why do you want a banana? I want a banana because I want to eat it. I want to eat it. Or if there's two bananas, I want to eat them. Right? Or if there's two eggs, why do you want eggs? I want to eat them. I want to eat them. So let's change that. Why do you want a banana? I want a banana because I want to eat it. I want to eat it. I want to eat it. Or you can also say, I want it. I want it because I want to eat it. So why do you want this? Why do you want this? I want this because I want to eat it. That's uh, shorter, right? I want, why do you want a banana? I want a banana because I want to eat it. Why do you want this? I want this because I want to eat it. Let's change that. Why do you want this? I want it because I want to eat it. Why do you want this? I want it because I want to eat it. No. Why do you want this? I want it because I want to eat it. Or I want the lemon because I want to eat it. You can change many ways. Why do you want... Where's that water? Here's the water. Why do you want this? 
I want it because I want to drink it. Mmm. So nice. I want it because I want to drink it. How nice! Why do you want this? Or why do you want these? Because there's more than... There's, look, there's many DVDs, right? Why do you want these? I want these. T-H-E-S-E. -E. Why do you want these? I want them. Because I want to watch them. I want them because I want to watch them. Why do you want this? I want this because I want to watch it. No, no, read it. I want this because I want to read it. See, I almost made a mistake. This is, let me show you. This is watch the book. I watch the book. That's watch the book. Read the book. I read the book. Ah, oh, it's time for lunch, Patrick said, as he took the puppy out of the bed. You'd like a special treat, I guess, and the puppy nodded yes, yes, yes. Look at the puppy! So that's reading. I'm reading, watching. Uh, see, a DVD, is, you put this in on TV, ah, watching the DVD. You don't read the DVD, I guess you could. Let's read the DVD. Star Trek Voyager, TM and copyright 1995 by Paramount Pictures, all rights reserved. That's reading the DVD, I'm sorry, we don't want to do that. Goodbye! Oh. Today we will learn about high and low. He can jump high or he can jump low. Right now he's, jump, he's jumping down. So, up here, this is high. And down here, this is low. High and low. So, he is jumping low or high? Well, I don't know, he's jumping down, so that's a bad example, but let's say I. This is jumping low, jumping low, jumping low, just low jump. I jump low, or I am jumping low. What if I jump high? Like, what if I really jump high? Okay, that's I am jumping high. Or I jump high. I am jumping high. Okay? So, I jump low. Low. I, ju I am jumping low. I jump high. And I am jumping high. Okay? You could say, I am, where's that ball? I am throwing the monkey, I'm throwing the monkey low, I'm throwing the monkey, I'm throwing the monkey high, I'm throwing the monkey high, okay? Or, the ceiling is high, the ceiling is high, or if the ceiling is low, like it's right here, the ceiling is low. Okay, so let's let's talk about uh, water. So if we have water, let's say the water this is the water. The water is high. The water is high. It's high. But, 
If I lower the water, put it down here, well now the water is low. The water is low. The water is low. But what would here be? What if it's right here? Well, if this is the same, that's halfway, halfway. Water is half dash way. Okay, the water is halfway, halfway. It's like if you have a car and you are driving, you're driving your car, okay, let's say this is your car. This is you. Okay, let's say you start here. This is where you start. Start, and you're going this way. This is the end. We also call it the finish. Finish or end. So, you are, where are you? Where are you? How far are you? You are halfway. You are halfway. And if I'm driving, I say, I am, I am halfway. But, let's say, let's say you're actually not halfway. You're just slightly off. Slightly off. I can see right here. Okay, now, are you halfway? Not really. You could say, I'm, I'm about halfway. I'm about halfway. I am about halfway. I am about halfway. Okay. So where where's the water? The water is halfway. What if it's right here? What if it's right here? Well, now the water is about halfway. It's about halfway. What if it's here? The water is still. You know, it's, it's about halfway. It's about halfway. But if it's like, if it's exactly, like, like look, exactly? Let me show you exactly. We measure this. 20, so this is halfway, and 10, so this, this is halfway, then we say, if it's exactly halfway, exactly halfway, that's what we say, the water is exactly Halfway. Okay. Alright. Let's do an example. Here's my eraser rag. If I fold the eraser rag exactly, this is exactly. It's folded exactly in half. It's folded exactly in half. But if I fold it like this, well, it's not exact. That's not exact. So it, I would say the eraser is folded about halfway. It's folded about halfway. It's like if I have... Oh, here we go.
How much money do I have? Well, I have exactly a dollar twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. I have exactly a dollar thirty-one. Exactly a dollar thirty-one. But if I don't look, I don't look, and I guess, oh, I have about, I have about a dollar maybe, a dollar, dollar fifty, about, because you don't know. So that's the difference between exactly and about. Hello, welcome to English time. <laughs> okay, today we will <laughs> we will learn about clocks, clocks, All right? Clock. What is a clock or clocks? Well, I'll show you what clocks are. This is a clock. Okay, the clock tells you the time. Alright, so the clock tells the clock tells you the the time. Alright, so the clock tells you the time. If you want to know what time it is, then you would ask, what time is it? Okay? Question. What What time is it? Okay, and here we see, uh, let me do this over here, we got one, two, three, it's four, fifty, four, fifty. So the answer is it, four, fifty. Right now it's p.m. p.m. Okay. 4.50 p.m. p.m. is afternoon and a.m. is morning. a.m. is morning. Alright. So. We have this type of clock which is a mechanical clock or a two-hand clock, a two-hand clock, one hand, two-hand. So this is the the hour hand, and this is the minute hand, the hour hand and the minute hand. So, let me erase this. So here's the clock, 12, 6, three, nine, right, we had it about here. Now this one, this hand is the hour hand, so we call that hour hand, because one hour, one hour, equals 60 minutes. And 60 minutes equals one hour. Because you can say minutes, M-I-N or M-I-N-U-T-E-S. This is short. So really, we could go like this. that shortened. 60 minutes equals one hour. 24 hours equals one day. One day. Right? So, back to the hands. Alright. This is the hour hand. Hour hand. It's a silent H. You say hour hand. You don't say hour hand, just hour hand. Alright? This is the 
A uh, minute hand. The minute hand. Okay? Minute hand. And actually this small one here. The uh, second hand. I don't know I don't know what we call it really. Maybe just second hand. So that is the two-handed clock, the two-hand clock, or mechanical clock. Let me write that for you. So we call it two-hand clock. Or mechanical clock. Okay, so this is. Now we have different types of clocks. We have different types of clocks. We have a digital clock. A digital clock. I'm going to explain the digital clock now. All right, it's digital. These are digits. Each one is a digit, right? And also, these are digits. Finger digits. I almost fingered you by accident. Digits, right? So, digital clock. Right, and this comes from digit, which equals, like, See how it says three? That's a digit. See how it says it says five there? Five? That's a digit. Four? That's a digit. So each one is a digit. So we say digital. Digital clock. Alright, so it's pretty easy. Hour minute, you know, 3.55, this is hour, this is minute, the minutes here, hour there, and here at the bottom, it even tells you, it says PM there, see that PM? That says afternoon, equals after noon. Afternoon, right? So that is the digital clock. Now, AM and PM, let's do that. So this, this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, is a 12 hour clock. Right? 12 hour clock. 12 hour clock. It goes from 1 to 12. But a 24 hour clock, 24 hour clock, goes from 1 to 24. Right? So, on the 24 hour clock, we can say that, that, uh, like 1 o'clock, well, let's say 1 o'clock, no, not 1 o'clock. How am I going to say this? On uh, the 24 hour clock. Zero, zero. Zero, 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 to twelve, right? Twelve hours, zero minutes. That's a.m., right? But twelve o one to twenty four hours, that's p.m., right? So this is this is midnight. 
midnight. Midnight to, this is lunchtime, lunchtime, noon, noon, is a.m. And just after, after noon to, again, midnight is p.m. Okay? So, Twenty-four hour clock. If the time is thirteen zero thirteen hundred hours. Thirteen hundred hours. Right. Thirteen hundred hours. Same thing if we if we have nineteen. 1900 hours. If we say 15, it's 1500 hours. But if we go like this, 1530, now we say 1530. 1530. That's for 15 hour clock. That's kind of hard, so maybe you want to just say this. Three thirty p.m. Yeah, that's the same thing, right? Three thirty p.m. Right? And it's, let's do another example. Let's say it's zero eight thirty. Zero eight thirty. Well, that's now, 830, but in 12 hour time, we would say 8.30 a.m., right? 8.30 a.m. One more, one more example. We'll do 0, 4, 25. So we say 400, well actually it's 0,425. In this one, we say 4,25 a.m. A.m. Okay? Hello! Today, we will learn about three verbs. Number one. See. See. See is just like, I see. I see. I see the paintbrush. I see the paintbrush. I see the paintbrush. I see the tape measure. I see the tape measure. I see the cup. I see the cup. Or I see the glass. I see the glass. Okay? That is C. Next one is search. 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 So, I'm searching. Where is the water bottle? Where's the water bottle? I'm searching. Searching. Oh, there it is. There's the water bottle. Okay? I found the water bottle. I found the water bottle. That is search. Search. Next one. Find. Find. I found the water bottle. That's to find. Okay, look, he found the gold. Gold. He found the gold. The first one, C. What does he see? What does he see? He sees a tree. What does he see? He sees a tree. What does he see? He sees a tree. What is he searching for? What is he searching for? And also, look. 
What is he looking for? So what is he, or does, what does or is, what is he searching What is he searching for? He is searching for maybe a planet. That's a planet. That's a planet. Planet, planet, star, 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 star. Okay. He is searching for a planet. and stars. Where a star and a planet is like stars and planet. Also, you can say, what is he looking for? So we would just say, look. is he looking for? He is looking for a planet and stars. So the qu next question, what does he what does he find? What does he find? What does he find? What does he find? He finds gold. He finds gold. So let's review. All right, what does he see? What does he see? He sees a tree. He sees a tree. What is he searching for? What is he searching for? He is searching for planets and stars. He is searching for planets and stars. What does he look for? He is looking for planets and stars. He is looking for planets and stars. Hello. Today we will learn about temperature. Temperature. This is a thermometer. Thermometer. And so this is thermometer, okay? Therm, therm, os means heat. Thermos means heat. So thermometer means heat measurement. Now, the thermometer has two sides. It has the left side here and the right side. Can you see here? Oops. The left side right there says Celsius. And the right side says Fahrenheit. So the thermometer has a little on the bottom, comes up. And here it says degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. And this is degree, degree, and C means Celsius. Degree Celsius. 
degrees Fahrenheit. Okay? So we have uh, zero and then zero over here. Let me get rid of that. All right, so this thermometer measures the heat, the heat, the heat, right? Let me write that. The thermometer measures Temperature or heat. Right. Temperature is how high? How high here? A heat is hot, right? So measure is like this. The thermometer, this is thermometer, the thermometer. This is measure. Measures temperature or heat. Again, the thermometer measures temperature or heat. Okay. So we have to ask a question. What is the temperature? What is the temperature? Now let's say the temperature is here. 40 degrees Celsius. 40 degrees Celsius. Okay, so you say it is 40 degrees Celsius. Or, you say, it's 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It is 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It is 40 degrees Celsius. It is 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, what if it's here? What if it's at, at, uh, at zero? Zero Fahrenheit, right? This is zero Celsius. So zero Fahrenheit. Well, we'd say something like this. If it's zero Celsius, if the temperature is zero Celsius, then we say it is zero degrees Celsius. Now, if it is Fahrenheit, zero degrees Fahrenheit, we say it is zero degrees Fahrenheit. It is zero degrees Fahrenheit. It is zero degrees Fahrenheit. Now that is the thermometer. The thermometer. Let's review. What is this? What is this? It is a thermometer. 
or it's a thermometer. What does the thermometer do? What does the thermometer do? The thermometer measures the temperature. The thermometer measures the temperature or heat. The, the thermometer measures the temperature or heat. What is the temperature? What is the temperature? The temperature is 40 degrees Celsius. What is the temperature? The temperature is 0 degrees Fahrenheit. What is the temperature? The temperature is 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Right on. So we are going to talk about hot, cold, cool, warm, and uh, various degrees of heat. So, what is hot? Well, hot, hot is here. This is hot. What is cold? This is cold. What is warm? This is warm. What is cool? This is cool. So, let's draw a chart. We're going to draw a thermometer. So, where is hot? Hot? Where is warm? Warm. Where is cool? Where is cold? Okay, that's where cold is. Now let's do some questions. We can ask, what is the temperature like today? Question. Well, that's hard. Let's do an easy one. Let's do an easy one. Easy one. How hot is it? How hot is it? Really, you'd say like how much, how much hot is there? But what we do is we just say, you know what, let's get rid of this and let's put how hot is it? Or how, how hot is it out? Out. So there's the question. How hot is it out? And I'd say, well, it's cool. Or answer. It, it's cool. It's cool. Or it's cool out. Now, I'll ask you, how hot is it? How hot is it? It's hot. It is hot. It's hot. It's hot out. Whoo, it's hot out. Now, How hot is it out? How hot is it out? <laughs> it's cold, it's cold. It's... It's cold out, it's cold out. How hot is it out? How hot is it out? It's warm out. It's warm. It's warm out. All right, now I'll ask you. 
How hot is it out? How hot is it out? I'll ask you, how hot is it out? Hmm? It is warm. How hot is it out? It is cold. How hot is it out? It is cool out. How hot is it out? It is hot out. Okay, so, what is this? I'll do an action and then you, I'll do something and you, you say what I'm doing. Whew. What is that? Hot. Hot. What is this? Cold. Cold. It is cold out. Okay? What is this? Ah. It is warm. It is warm out. And what is this? It is cool out. So review. How hot is it out? It is hot out. It is warm out. It is cool out. And it is cold out. Out. Hello. We are doing another video on heat. Okay? Another video on heat. So, remember, we had various levels of heat. Hot. Hot, warm, cool, and cold. Okay, so hot, hot, so hot. Warm, warm is ah, nice and warm, right? Cool, cool, and then cold. Cold, right? But what about if it's beyond this, right? What if it's like, oh my god, it's so hot, <sighs> really hot. What if it's very, very hot? Well, let's do that. So here we go. We have hot. Let's keep this going. Okay, so we have hot, that's hot, we have very hot, oh, very hot, very hot, right, that's very hot, and then we have extremely hot. Extremely hot, right? So, what is the temperature like here? What is the temp? What is the temperature like here? It is hot. What is the temperature like here? It is hot. What is the temperature like here? It is very hot. What is the temperature like here? It is extremely hot. So, let's go down. What is the temperature here? It is warm. What is the temperature here? It is cool. What is the temperature here? It is cold. But what if it's like really really cold, right? What if it's very very cold? Well, cold, then very cold, and extremely cold.
extremely cold. You can also say super cold. So, what is the temperature here? It is cold. What is the temperature? It is cold. What is the temperature? It's very cold. What is the temperature? It's extremely cold. What's the temperature? It's super cold. Today, we are learning the word tight and loose. So, tight, tight, and loose. T-I-G-H-T L-O-O-S-E So tight is like this. I have a, a jar. This is a jar. A glass jar and a lid. A lid. I put the lid on the glass jar. I put the lid on the glass jar and I tighten it. <clears throat> The lid is tight. So, the, uh, the lid, the lid is tight. The lid, uh, uh, the lid is tight. But if I uh, even more, now the lid is very tight. But what if? What if the lid is just like, it's like this? What is this? The lid is loose. The lid is loose. Right? So if I go, if I go like this, there. The lid is loose, but it's not very loose. If I go very loose, this is very loose. The lid is very loose. The lid is very loose. So the lid is tight, the lid is tight, the lid is very tight, the lid is loose, and the lid is very loose, very loose. What else can be loose or tight? Right. A belt. A belt can be loose. So what else? Else means more. What more? What else can be loose? What else can be loose? A belt can be loose. A belt can be loose. A screw 
can be loose. See here, we have screws. So the screw can be loose. A screw can be loose. Or a head could be loose. Ah, no, no, no. So, what else can be loose? A belt can be loose. A screw can be loose. But what about tight? Well, same thing. What else can be tight? What else can be tight? A belt can be tight. And a screw can be tight. So remember, review, what is this? What is this? This is a jar. This is a glass jar. So the glass jar has a lid. The lid goes on the glass jar. Glass jar is G-L-A-S-S-J-A-R. -S -S so the glass jar has a lid that is tight. The lid is tight. <clears throat> now, the lid is very tight. Now, the lid is loose. Now, the lid is very loose. Okay? So the belt, the belt is now tight. The belt is now loose. Okay? And the screw, the screw is extremely tight, or very tight. Very tight. So the, the screw is very tight. The screw is tight. The screw is loose. And the screw is very loose. Okay? Hello. Today, in English, we will learn some places. Places. The first place which we have done is the fire station. Fire station. Okay, here we have the fire station. This is the fire station. This is the fire truck. This is the fire fire and this is the fireman but this building here is the fire station so we also have the restaurant the restaurant and here is the waiter 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 and here is the man and the woman and they are at the restaurant here's food that they they ordered the food they say food food they order the food order the food okay let me write that down so at the restaurant at the restaurant at the restaurant they order food at the restaurant they order food what do they do at the fire station? At the fire station, uh, the firefighters work. The firefighters
work. What is work? Work is shoveling and, you know, climbing and doing things. That's work, okay? So, we have fire station, we have restaurant, and now, hospital. 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 Okay. This is the hospital. And this is this is ambulance. This is the hospital. That's the ambulance and that's the hospital. This is the patient. And this is the uh, ambulance driver or paramedic. So, uh Let's say doctors work at the hospital. The doctors, doctors work at the hospital. Doctor, doctor, doctors have the uh, stethoscope and they listen. You know, doctors, doctors work at the hospital. Police station. Police station. Police station. So there is the police station. There is the police car. Police car. And there is the police man. So police station. Police car. Police man. The police station, policemen work. Policemen work. Supermarket. 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 At the supermarket. You can buy food. Food. You can buy food. So this is the supermarket. Supermarket. These are customers. There's a customer. 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 There's a truck. A truck to deliver the food. There's a an employee, an employee, supermarket, bus stop, bus stop, bus stop, there's the bus stop, here's the bus, the bus. Here's the driver. The driver. Driver. And here is a rider. A rider. Airport. 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 All right. Here's the airport. Here are the passengers. Passengers? These people are passengers. More passengers. Airplane? Airplane? Airport. So this is airplane, and this is air airport. The whole thing is airport. Museum. Museum. This is the museum, right? There's two people at the museum, and there's a dinosaur, a dinosaur, at the museum. School. School. Here is a school. You have students. Students playing basketball. The school bus going to school. The school bus 
school bus is going to school to drop off the students at school. Okay? Finished! Hello! Today, in English, we will study transportation. Transportation. Transport means to move. Transportation, like a car. A car. Car. Train. 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 Boat. 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 Subway. 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 Bus, 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 truck, 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 back to car, go. I drive a car. I drive a car. I drive a car. That's a car. Train. Uh, well, the train, the train moves uh things the train moves things the train moves things boat the boat goes on water. The boat goes on water. The boat uh, goes on water. The boat goes on water. Many people ride the subway. So many people, many, lots, many people ride the subway. Ride the subway. Ride. Ride. The subway. Many people ride the subway. Many people ride the bus. Many people ride the bus. The truck moves things. So just like the train moves things, the truck moves things. 
So the truck moves things. I'm not going to write it again. And we're back to the car. So, review. I drive the car. I drive the car. I drive a car, or the car, whatever. The train moves things. The boat goes on water. Many people ride the subway. And many people ride the bus. The truck moves things. And that's it. Hello, today we will do some examples of transportation. So for example, car and school. I drive the car to school. I'll write that down for you. I drive my car it's my car to school. I drive my car to school. What if we catch the subway? I ride the subway. I ride the subway to school. I ride the subway to school. I'll write that down. I ride the subway to school. I ride the subway if you're going to school, to school. Or, I ride the bus to school. 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 We just put bus there. I ride the bus to school. Okay. What about this? What if we have a different thing like a supermarket, right? You have a supermarket. Well, the truck, the truck takes food to the supermarket. Right, food. The truck takes food to the supermarket. Food, remember? Food. Mmm. The, the truck takes food to the supermarket. Let me write that for you. The truck takes food to the supermarket. Or, the truck delivers food to the supermarket. So we can put delivers. delivers food to the supermarket. We can also have a train. The train can bring stuff to the supermarket. Sort of. The train can bring food to the supermarket. The train can bring food to the supermarket. The policeman drives his car to the police station. The police station. The, pol the policeman drives his car to the police station.
I swim, I swim to the boat, to the boat. I swim to the boat, I swim to the boat, right? That's to, this is from, from. So if I swim from the boat, I'm swimming from the boat. But if I swim to the boat, to the boat, okay? Again, the truck, the truck is delivering food to the school. The truck is delivering food to the school. The school bus, the school bus is delivering kids or children to the school. The bus is delivering kids to the school. The bus is delivering kids to the school.